If you celebrate God for what he has done, I'm sure God will do much more in your life today. Lift up your voice to him and just celebrate him. Celebrate him. In any way you can, celebrate him. He's faithful. He's true. He's ever sure, ever dependable. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Our high priest, celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. The Almighty God, celebrate him. Father, we give thanks to you. Lord, we give thanks to you. Lord, we give thanks to you. For all these testimonies we've heard, Father, we return all the glory to you. Even for the ones unshared, we return all the glory to you. And Lord, we are asking that in this service today, multiply your deeds in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. I shared with the ministers while we were praying that every time I pray or I think about the next Destiny Encounter service, there is this strange excitement that I feel. And I feel this excitement like God is going to do something beyond what we can ever bargain for. And God said to me that this service is going to be the connecting door to that desire you have long been waiting for. I wish I could explain better. But believe me honestly, Monday is going to be a surprise to every one of us. Many of us, the smile that will come on your face after Monday's encounter will last through your lifetime. In the name of Jesus. Now there's something you will do with me this morning or this afternoon. There are people that God has been using week in, week out. People that pray, that intercede on our behalf. The ministers of God in the house. You are going to rise up to your feet. All of us, church, let's rise up on our feet. And you will stretch forth your hands towards the minister's seat. I will just want you to pray to God for them that God will renew the strength of his ministers, that God will increase his anointing upon their lives, that the depth of the revelation of the word of God will increase, that the almighty God will honor his word in the mouth of his servants, myself inclusive, that God will daily renew our strength That these hands of ours will be the hands of God's power. That these lips of ours will be the lips of God's authority. That whatever we bid to come will come. Whatever we ask to go will go. That God's strength will be magnified in us. That God's grace will be increased in us. Especially as we prepare towards the next Destiny Encounter service. Pray to God that God will prepare us vessels unto his glory. Vessels unto honor. Pray to God for us that we will not get tired. We will not get wearied. We will not be distracted. We will not lose focus. That every time we stand to minister, that we will minister life and not death. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we give praise to you. 
And may the Lord honor the words of your prayers in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you have watered us through your prayers this morning, the Lord will raise us up to water your lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything we ask God for concerning you, the Lord will do in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you put your hands together in appreciation to the, to the grace of God in life of the ministers. Hallelujah. And I want to say sincerely that I appreciate every one of us, pastors, ministers, from the depth of my heart. The Lord will prosper your ministries in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to take two prayer points ahead of time for the great provider service. So you please rise to your feet. How many of us will not be there on Monday? You will not be there on Monday. How many of us will not be there on Monday? Why? You better adjust your schedules. Make sure you are there. Because I can't even guarantee you that you have the video streaming because of the technical problems we are having. Please, if you can adjust your schedule, please do and be there. Now you are going to lift up your hands to God. The theme of that service is the great provider. You are going to pray to God. And the prayer is this. That God let Monday service put an end to lack and need in my life. Are we ready to pray that prayer? So you lift up your right hand to the heavens and say, Father, I can't hear you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as you prepare your servants towards the Monday Destiny Encounter service, prepare the ground for me also. That as I step my feet into that auditorium, let your power visit me and put an end to lack and need in my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray to God. Open your mouth and pray to him. Open your mouth and pray to him. Father, make that service a special service for me. Put an end to lack and need in my life. You are the great provider. You are inexhaustible in resources. You are inexhaustible in provision. Use that service to put an end to need and lack in my life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The second prayer is this. It is one thing for God to prepare for a man. It is another thing for the man to be available to receive what God has prepared. And the devil is so cunning. It will make every plan to ensure you are not present where your blessing is. But you want to pray to God that God will frustrate every plan of the devil to make you not to be present at that service. So you will lift up your hands to God and say, Father, I can't even say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for myself. And I pray for every member of my family. I pray for all my friends. Everyone that should be present at that meeting. Everyone you have prepared a blessing for. That every plan of the devil. To cause them to be absent. On that day. Father frustrated in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray to him. Open your mouth and pray. Father frustrate every plan of the devil to cause us to be absent on that day 
in the name of Jesus. Any plan by the devil, any plan by man, any incidents that might cause me to be absent, Father, frustrate in the name of Jesus. I will not be absent in the place of my blessing. I will not in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We glorify your name. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. father we give thanks to you Amen. hallelujah Amen. Now, i said something to the ministers last week and i will say it to us again we're talking about the great provider one of the things you can do to seal up your faith for that day is to make sure you have a seed sown into that service no matter how little. Let me be very sincere with you. We, not that we lack the money to run it. God have raised people and everything is settled. I'm just giving that as an advice. No matter what, no matter how little, put a seed ahead of that program and the Almighty God will honor your, your faith in Jesus' name. This afternoon we are blessed, we are honored, we are privileged to have one of our senior pastors come minister to us is a man that is so busy in fact when i was going to invite him i was thinking i would get a no the pastor the time is short but god granted us grace and he accepted to be here um well in in, in the cycle of pastors is is the foremost zona pastor is the coordinator of the zona pastors forum we are privileged to have with us this afternoon as I welcome him to come and minister to us, Pastor Dan Ogun. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Is the zona pastor in charge of the Holy Ghost zone, where Holy Ghost resides. <laughs> put your hands together for the Lord. Man, my help My help, oh. my help, oh. there is something that makes me come into your presence. afternoon there is a reason for your coming you did not just come because you just had to come you came to seek help i want you to convert that into your prayer father you are my helper i have come to seek a definite help help me in the name of jesus open your mouth and ask for definite help Ask for definite help. Don't just ask for omnibus help. Don't just say, God, help me. Help me, oh God, in this area of my life. Help me in this challenge of my life. Help me in this matter of my life. Help me in this situation of my life. Definite prayer of help. Ask him. Ask him that your coming will not just be just coming for the sake of coming. You have come because you need help. That help you will have. Ask him, oh God, release his help to me. Release his help to me. 
in jesus mighty name we have prayed daddy because we seek your help and we have not gone to other gods but to the almighty father mightily release your help to us everyone that is here this afternoon or under the sound of this voice father release help from above release help from above release help in the name of jesus thank you because it is done in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen praise god our coming definitely we carry enormous testimonies in the mighty name of jesus pastor thank you for the privilege and we thank god that um he will do what he has promised he will do god told me today is going to be the beginning of an unending laughter in your life and all it takes is for you to listen to him and key into what he wants us to do let's open to john chapter 5 the gospel of john chapter 5 i read from verse 1 the gospel of john chapter 5 i read from verse 1 after this there was a feast of the jews and jesus went up to jerusalem now there is in jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called hebrew in hebrews bethesda having five porches in this lay a great multitude of sick people blind lame paralyzed waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well or whatever disease he had now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years when jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been in that condition a long time he said to him do you want to be made well the sick man answered sir i have no man to put me in into the pool when the water is stirred up but while i'm coming another steps down before me jesus said take up thy bed and walk and walk and immediately the man was made well took up his bed and walk your testimony will be similar to this in the mighty name of jesus christ when we come before the presence of god like this there is somebody that is singled out for a blessing if you are that person can i hear amen? amen and so here is a story a life story it is not a proverb it is not a parable a man came for help and the circumstance the situation was simple here at the pool of bethesda beside it not far away was a market where sheep were sold a sheep market not far away and beside that is this pool where the lame the sick the blind the paralyzed as a matter of fact as many as were in need of help sought help from there and here is a 38 year old condition the Bible describes to us the various kinds of infirmities that compel people to be there. This man fell into one of those descriptions. His own situation was that he could not walk and he carried a bed. And here too, we understand that there were five porches. I checked what it was. It's like a veranda. Five of them. And you realize that five is usually a symbol of what grace and so this man needed grace but he had no ability to get in there was also this superstition which worked for them that the water the pool was stirred and each time it was stirred the first got a miracle 
So it is in the midst of this situation and a great multitude, the Bible records, that Jesus Christ walked there and picked one man. Today, you are the next on the line. In the mighty name of Jesus. What lessons? Number one, it is a reality of life that life generally is a sort of marketplace. Number two, in the midst of this marketplace, there are tradings going on. And several people's lives have been traded by the devil. If yours is one, tonight, today, you will be rescued in the name of Jesus Christ. People were buying and selling. Others were wailing and suffering. That is a symbolism of what life indeed is. The man needed help. And he said, when Jesus Christ asked him, like he's asking you shortly, do you want to be helped? He said, I have no man. I have no man. He forgot or he did not realize that the man he was speaking to was the man of war. The man that was speaking to him was the man of Galilee. The man that was speaking to him was the son of man. But he said, I had no man. We all have this man. He is the main man. Look beside you and say, I have the man. He is my main man. He is the main man. He will come through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Only one helpless, sick, infirmed, and hopeless man was singled out. It does not matter, sir, sister, brother. It does not matter if everybody suffers that ailment. It does not matter if that condition is general. My prayer today is that you will not be a victim of common calamity. Yeah. All of them had calamity. And so the great multitude in that pool, by that pool, was a great multitude of people with common calamity. I say again, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not be a victim of common calamity. However organized the calamity is, you will not be a victim of common calamity in the name of Jesus. And if you had been a victim, I reverse that in the name of Jesus. The man's problem of 38 years was not just the sick condition, was not just the paralyzed condition. His condition also was that he had no man. Yours may be like that. Where the matters are being discussed, you have nobody to put a voice for you. The Lord will raise a voice today. I say in the name of Jesus, he will raise a voice today. He had no man. But he forgot. Or did not know that there is a man whose eye go to and fro. There is a man whose eyes are fixed on the righteous there is a man whose eyes on the righteous and his ears are open to the cry if you look at psalm 34 15 and 17 it tells us that we have the god almighty whose eyes are on me today those eyes will single you out in the name of jesus christ he is not just a man he is the almighty god the one that can override rules the rule at the point was first come first serve don't bother whether you are the last as far as god is concerned when grace comes in he overrides the rules i say when grace comes in he overrides the rules and today the disadvantage you suffer because of rule is about being changed. The disadvantage you have been suffering because a certain rule or law has been put in place to stop you.
God in the name of Jesus is overriding that rule. Jesus overrode the rule. Because the rule was, whenever the water was troubled, the one who got there first got healed. But this man had no man. But when Jesus Christ came, he had no need of any other man. The reason is because his ears are not heavy to hear us. His eyes are not dim to hear us. And suddenly he approached this man. And precisely with a question and an interrogation. The simple question in our context is, why are you here? Look at somebody and say, why are you here? Why are you here? Are you here just because you want to be here? No, you are here because something must happen to you today. You must carry something with you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then he spoke. And the word he spoke was not a word of negotiation. It was a word of command. Suddenly he looked at the man. Pastor, just permit me. He looked at the man and said, Man, take up your bed and walk. And because in John chapter 6, verse 63, the Bible tells us that Jesus said, The word that I speak to you are the words of life and our spirit. Suddenly, he said, Take up your bed. The important man suddenly took up the bed on his head and he said, Walk. And the man began to 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 walk. Today you will walk with home with your testimony. I said, Today you will walk home with your testimony. Why did he say he should take it up? He didn't say he should take it down. Don't forget there is a market by. There is a market close by. And he says, if you look at other sections, where Jesus similarly told them, take up your bed. There were some who said, take up your bed and go home. This matter is past going home. This matter is not a restricted matter. Take up your bed. And suddenly the man took up his bed. And I imagine his first point of call was the market. People that never thought he could ever stand. He took it up. The bed was a symbol of end of discussion testimony. Somebody will receive end of discussion testimony today. In the name of Jesus. And he took up his bed. And as he was going, they were asking him, what are you carrying? He said, end of discussion. What are you carrying? End of discussion. You thought I would never will make it. Look at me today. And he carried it and he was going. You will carry your testimony. I said you will carry your testimony. The bed was a symbol of irreversible miracle. The bed was a symbol of end of discussion testimony. Testimony that does not need serious argument. It was incontrovertible evidence. It was a matter that had been concluded. He carried it. And he began to walk. He began to walk. He began to walk. Today. Not tomorrow. Today. I say today. You will carry your testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today. Say today. Oh Father, release my testimony for me. Release my testimony to me. I receive my testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray today. My testimony will be unquestionable. This matter is an end of discussion. After now, my testimony is 
unquestionable. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. That bed was a symbol of grace taking over from disgrace. You are going to pray. Father Father rewrite my story today in place of disgrace let your grace work for me open your mouth and pray let your grace work for me in place of disgrace let your grace work for me in place of disgrace let your grace work for me in place of disgrace let your grace work for me in the mighty name of jesus today is that day your grace will work for me your grace will work for me in jesus mighty name we have prayed we are praying oh lord today single me out for this miracle single me out for a miracle an end of discussion miracle do it for me in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray single me out single me out single me out for a miracle a miracle they cannot argue about a miracle they cannot argue about a miracle they cannot argue about a miracle they cannot controvert single me out single me out single me out in jesus mighty name we have prayed you are going to say and you are not going to say it omnibusly it's not god concerning my case no concerning this my case father issue your word of command open your mouth and pray concerning this my matter you know your matter you know your matter say it to him concerning this my matter oh god issue your word of command let the word of command proceed let your word of command come out let your word of command proceed his word is life his word is life his word is spirit his word is spirit and life his word is spirit and life his word is not for negotiation his word cannot be disobeyed his power lifted up the man let the power in his command lift you beyond the problem lift you beyond the challenge in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and pray in jesus mighty name we are praying when those who never pitied him before saw him carrying his bed some of them came close to see if he was the one some of them came close to see what had happened to him but because the testimony itself the bed speaks for itself in law it is called recipsa loquito the facts are too clear the facts speak for themselves because the bed he was carrying was a testimony say father give me a testimony that needs no argument give me a testimony that needs no argument no put your mouth and pray a testimony that needs no argument a testimony that needs no argument that is the one i want not the one that will be subject to argument no god's testimony god's miracle are subject to no arguments it is clear he is the finger of the lord he is the word of command in jesus mighty name we have prayed you're going to ask father 
permanently shut the mouth of my enemies. Shut up the mouth of my enemies. Permanently shut up the mouth of my enemies. Permanently shut up the mouth of my enemies. Those that are waiting for my downfall. Permanently shut up their mouth. Shut up, shut up their mouth. Shut up their mouth. Shut up their mouth. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There's somebody here. Who has been tied to a person that is going down? And as the person is going down, you are going down with him. Such is severed now. Such evil connection is severed now. You are released to your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, from now onwards, that issue that causes you to cry, you will cry no more. <laughs> Open your mouth and say, Father, let today be the end of the cry in this matter. Let today be the end of cry in this matter. Give me rejoicing, give me testimony. Give me rejoicing. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now, God told me that for some few minutes, seconds, you're going to ask definite things about that situation. The men of God are going to carry with them the voice of God. And that voice of God, you know, is the voice of command. He told his listeners that the word I speak to you, they are spirit and life. The way Jesus Christ commanded and said, rise up, take your bed and walk, they are simply going to say so to you. That matter is going to be a concluded matter. I said that matter is going to be concluded matter. So for one minute, ask definite things, definite things, definite things, definite things. And as they come to you, all they will say is, take up your bed and walk. Let them see you. Let them see you. Take up your bed and walk. Let them see you. Take up your bed and walk. Let them see you. Let them see you and you come to with testimonies. Yes, yes, and then we make it for Just open your mouth and pray. The ministers come here, they sweat for their hands, and all they will be saying, Take up, take up your bed and walk. Take up your bed and walk. And you are walking away here with your testimony. Pray, pray definitely. Pray definitely. Ministers, please can you come forward? Thank you. Pray definitely. Pray definitely. Pray definitely. Pray definitely. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, can we stretch our hands towards them? Every area that is the condition. For that man, his own condition was defined. You know your condition. You know the area you are seeking intervention for which you came. 
in the mighty name of jesus take up your bed and walk the way the bed was a symbol of an incontrovertible testimony from now onwards your matter will become an incontrovertible testimony in the mighty name of jesus take up your bed and walk take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus take up your bed and walk take up your bed and walk in the name of jesus let's lift our hands to heaven and begin to give him thanks just give him thanks because he has answered thank you ministers of god and if you are not born again then this testimony is not complete for you if you are not born again this testimony is not complete and you wish to do that just bow your head where you are and do this prayer father i surrender my life to you i know you are the almighty god take charge have mercy upon my soul save my soul if you made that prayer can i see your hand quickly so that you come here we will now seal it for an incontrovertible testimony of your life you just give your life to jesus now can you just indicate quickly 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 are you here praise god praise the lord your testimony will be flowing yeah. laughter unendingly will be flowing yeah. today your new life begins yeah. i say today your new life begins yeah. it is done in jesus name yeah. amen All heads still bowed. Can we please bow down heads? As we give thanks to the Lord for his move in our midst, God's word is potent. His word brings result all the time. And he has sent his word into our lives and our situations. Let's give thanks to him for the results that we'll begin to see from now. Just give thanks to him. And as we are giving thanks to the Lord, maybe you prayed the prayer of salvation. You wanted to give your life to Jesus. That's the greatest gift you can ever receive from the Lord. The gift of salvation. And you said that prayer wherever you are. There is the need for grace to be transferred on you. There is the need for hands to be laid on you. And I would want to do that for you very quickly and lay my hands on you. You said that prayer when pastor led us to pray. You surrendered your life to Jesus. Please rise up wherever you are and quickly come to the altar. Let me lay hands on you and ask for God's grace to come upon you. Please, if there's anybody like that, quickly come. Quickly come. That's why it is called the altar call because you need to connect with god's altar if you pray that prayer please rise up wherever you are and quickly come quickly come if there's anybody like that god bless you as you are coming my brother god bless you now the rest of us let's give thanks to him god bless you as you are coming god bless you just appreciate him there is a testimony that speaks volume that the lord is giving to you move closer god bless you come closer to the altar god bless you come closer god bless you my brother god bless you this is one door that leads to other doors the door of salvation now you won't have to struggle in the place of prayer with god because you have now become a child of god 
what a privilege to be called the child of God. The rest of us, let's give thanks to him. 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 Let's also pray for our pastor that God have used to bless us this afternoon. Let's ask that the Almighty God will renew grace upon him. God will refresh his unction in his life. That God will multiply strength, both spiritual and physical, in him. Let's pray to God that he will continually be an instrument of glory in the hands of the Lord. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for the wife. Let's pray for the children that God will keep them safe and secured underneath his wings in the name of Jesus. Let's, let's release God's grace upon him. Let's release God's grace that the next time he stands to minister the word of God, he will minister with power. He will minister with anointing that his ministry will not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the things you've settled in our lives this morning. We thank you for the battles you've won for us. We thank you, Father Logo, for those testimonies you have established for us. Father, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And we thank you for your servant that you have used for us. Lord, we've prayed unto you for him and his family. Lord, we're asking that you honor our prayers in his life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.